Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me, the ones who hate me. Just got to redo the video. Something wrong with my audio, y'all. My bad. I got to get a new cord. But anyway, but Diddy, y'all, y'all know Diddy's been under the fire. Uh, the, y'all know whole no Diddy going on. Uh, cancel Diddy. Diddy got sued by Cassie, paid her several million. Well, now CNN then got a hold of footage of him putting his hands on her, you know, dragging her down, kicking her. And people have been waiting for this. They've been waiting, foaming at the mouth. And he's trending right now on Twitter. The video's being shared everywhere. And honestly, I don't think Diddy can come back from this. And I don't feel sorry for Diddy because when Cassie tried to come at him, clearly she tried to make a settlement with him. And he turned her down. Then she went public. Number one, you should have paid her. Number two, you shouldn't be doing what you did. I don't care what she did. Did you worth a billion dollars? Man, you can't put yourself in them situations, man. And you see it all the time with these celebrities, especially uh, black celebrities. You know, brothers like me and y'all said they will cancel us. Growing up, and it's hard for us to see people who they are. Growing up, you know, so especially some of y'all who are my age or even a little older, you watch Diddy, whole thing, whole involvement from Bad Boy when he was with Puff, even before that at Uptown, but Bad Boy, Bad Boy with Puff, I mean with uh, Big, with Mace and 112 and all of that. Then remember he got Sean John, and Sean John became a half billion dollar company and was one of the top fa- urban fashion brands. Then he had Ciroc. Remember the whole Ciroc boy movement. And everybody started drinking Ciroc with around 09 and up. Down here in Atlanta, they had Ciroc parties. Down here where they was giving out free shots. And so on and so forth to where he became a billionaire. But the problem is when you do dirt and you have enemies, people are going to are gonna look for you. And a lot of times, and I, I'm going to keep saying this, y'all. The person you need to fear the most is the person you laid up with. Because they're the ones who know all the secrets. They know all the skeletons in the closet. And Cassie came at Diddy and said, look, man, you know, the way you treated me, I need, however, we'll just say hypothetically, give me 20 million. Diddy laughed it off. And then what she do? She go public. Then Diddy canceled the next day. And as soon as, I mean, he canceled, he settled. As soon as he settled, people knew it was up. Next thing you know, the feds kicking in the dough. Diddy, canceled Diddy. And it's, it's, I don't know how Diddy can come back from this, y'all. He gonna have to disappear. He gonna have to lay low. I know his son was a Christian Combs made a diss song going at people. I get it. That's his father. That's all he know. But man, you know, they coming after they, they coming after celebrities. You know, you can't do stuff like that. But I'm a war. I'm a war. A lot of a lot of these celebrities, man, who be listening. All y'all making fun of Diddy. They coming after y'all, too. You see, they coming after academics. Everybody, I think, I think it was a David Copperfield. They coming at uh, uh, the look. The Me Too movement is going around everywhere. So if you did something, you know what I mean. Don't 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 judge these other people. You know, and again, you don't have to acknowledge something, condone it. But you know, all this no Diddy people laughing at Diddy and stuff. Okay, they gonna get you too. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I don't know how Diddy can come back from this. It's probably a wrap. You know, a part of me wonder who he made mad because people knew he was doing this stuff for years. Yeah, and, and real quick, my bad, y'all. Diddy has always not really treated people the best. Go back and look at that making the band. Go give me a cheese steak. I mean, a cheesecake. Walk the Brooklyn, give me a cheesecake. Um, D Dot talked about how people was washing cars and doing all this wild stuff for Diddy, and he didn't do that. He just moved a, a different kind of way to get on with Bad Boy. So, I mean. It, I'm sorry, man. A lot of these celebrities, man, they're arrogant. They're arrogant. Uh, They're narcissists. And you got to bow down and kiss the ring to be around a lot of them. But yeah, just tell me what y'all think.